I would now like to invite the governor of the state of Vermont, Peter Shumlin, to the podium to greet and congratulate the class of 2016. I also want to note that the governor has asked me to let you know that because of prior commitments, he will have to leave fairly soon after his address, but we are incredibly grateful that he was able to join us. Governor? That was great. Keep it up. Thank you, President Judy. That was wonderful. And I am so honored to be here with all of you, board members, faculty, staff, supporters of CCV, most importantly, the class of 2016. I am so darn proud of you. And so are the people all around you, your moms, your dads, your partners, husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, friends. What else we got here? Children, of course. They're proud. Come on, let's give it up to the class of 2016. Now, I get to speak to a lot of graduations. And I got to tell you, I've had the privilege of being governor for six years. This is the last time I'll get to stand up here. I would not miss this for the world. CCV's graduation is my favorite. I know I'm not supposed to say that, but it is. And this class of 16 looks like the most beautiful class of people I've seen in all of my six years as governor. Now listen, I got a question for you. How many of you thought it might be unlikely that you would ever sit in a cap and gown and receive a degree beyond high school. Raise your hand if you think you're in that club. Yeah, there you go. Well, listen, you know what's just as unlikely? That I would stand here as your governor. I had a, I'm dyslexic. I had a terrible time learning how to read. And what I love about you is that you're the fighters. You're the folks that overcame some really tough odds to get that cap and that gown. You, therefore, in my view, are the most likely to succeed. And that's why I'm here to congratulate you today. Congratulations. We're proud of you. So I've got to be brief. I'm going to tell you my story briefly. I'll never forget in sec second grade. I don't know how many of you learn differently, but I do, did, still do. And I thought that I had everyone fooled that I could read when I couldn't. So one day I got called in the principal's office. And, you know, if you learn differently, you all know this. For anyone that does here, you, you kind of go to the principal's office more than the kids that learn casually, right? So I get called in, but I hadn't done anything wrong that day yet. <laughs> so I go in, and there's my mom and dad sitting there next to the principal, like, wow, this is, this is a big one. This isn't good. And this is how we did it in Vermont. You know, you got to remember, I'm the first governor who's actually born and raised in the state in about 50 years. So this is how we did it in Vermont when I was in grade school. I mean, it was a long time ago, but they pretended I wasn't there. And the principal said to my mom and dad while I sat there, my eyes, you know, second grade, big eyes now, right? I know that this is serious. And he said, you know, we can't teach Peter how to read. We don't know what's wrong with him. He's not going to go to college. He's certainly not going to have a professional career, but we'll, we'll do the best that we can. And they sent me back to class. Now, you know, I mean, that was a great day. I mean, my self-esteem got a big boost. I was ready to fight with the rest of them, you know. So I had a single teacher and I'll never forget her, she's passed away, who came up to me one day several weeks after that and said, do you want me to take you home after school? You, if you'll come back with me, I'll teach you how to read. And I kind of thought that was an exciting idea. So she literally would, there was no special ed then, there was no IEP, it was everyone in a classroom with one teacher. She literally would load me into her Willie's Jeep and drive me up to her log cabin on Windmill Hill Road, Westminster West. Now, I'm old, she lived in a log cabin, but I want you to show you, not everybody lived in log cabins when I was a kid, but anyway, she did, and it took her a year and a half. We sat there, 
around the wood stove in the wintertime. We sat on our lawn in the summertime. She taught me how to read. And I got to tell you, it really helps to be able to read if you're a governor. <laughs> so I'm here today because I know you each have a story, too. And I know that when you went to CCV and you had the courage to enroll and you made it work financially, it wasn't always easy. And you fought hard to get here. So here's the good news. When I graduated from high school, you could actually make a pretty good living in Vermont with just a high school degree. And I had many friends who have. But you know that you fought so hard because that's not true today. Today, if you don't get something beyond high school, you're pretty much sentencing yourself to a low-wage job for life. So why I am so proud of you is that since I've been governor, we've created 18,000 new jobs. My Department of Labor says that in the next six years, we will likely create another 10,000 jobs, and every one of them requires a degree beyond high school. So here's my point. You have made it. Many of you will go farther, and that's great. But just this huge accomplishment is going to lift your life, and I'm just going to beg you to do it here in Vermont. You know, there are 50 governors in America, but this I'm convinced of. There is nothing better than the Green Mountain State to live, to work, to raise a family. So I'm here just to say congratulations. You will be the best Vermonters because you know how to fight. You know how to overcome obstacles. You know how to make it work. You know how to use your imagination and your courage and your determination and your incredible intellect to get where you are right now and I see in front of me huge successes ahead in each and every one of you. So I say, as your governor, I could not be prouder of you. You're in my club. Keep fighting. And your moms and dads and families, kids, everybody else are just as proud as I am. Way to go, class of 2016. Keep it in Vermont.